My name is Matthew and I'm a service engineer for Hyle. I started with Hyle in 2008, 10 years ago, and completed a five-year modern apprenticeship, which led me to the position I'm in now as a fully qualified engineer. My name is Graham George. I'm one of the engineers here at Inverness. Before that, I was in a, a main dealer for a car garage down in Glasgow. I fancied something a wee bit different and seeing this job advertised and thought, well, well, I'll see what this is all about. Three core skills that you need to have for a job like this is to be able to be resourceful, think outside the box and work on your own initiative. In a car dealership, it's the same thing you would generally expect to see day in, day out. You just have to look round about here. You've got a runway snowblower here, you've got a fire engine there. Part of the job that I enjoy working on such a wide range of equipment that it keeps it interesting and it's varied. A typical day might involve servicing one of the fire appliances, but things don't always go to plan. You might come in in the morning and find that during the night something's broken that you have to get on the case and fix straight away. Last winter, one of these blew a hydraulic hose out in the runway and that was at two o'clock in the morning in a blizzard. Because it's effectively a 24-7 operation, you need the airport open and because obviously where we are in Scotland, there's a high chance that you're going to get snow in the winter and ice. We work a varied shift pattern here. We can do an early shift, which is six till half one, or a late shift, which is one till nine. We also do on-call, covered at the weekend, and during the winter we might work extra hours depending on the weather conditions as well. Out with an airport, it's quite a unique environment, so you don't know what you can be doing. You could have a breakdown in the fire engine, that's safety critical, so that potentially shut the airport because there isn't the appropriate fire cover if the machine's not available, so that's quite enjoyable, but you don't know what you're getting into. Although I'm based here in Inverness, part of my job is travelling around the other Kyle airports we have 11 airports across the Highlands and Islands. I may be detached to other airports to help fix problems there, assisting the engineers, serving the runways and the runway lights. We also do fabrication and welding, so you've got to think outside the box sometimes and make, make parts that might be obsolete that you can't buy on yourself. You're not just a mechanic or a fitter or anything like that, you're kind of all rolled into one. We also do other airfields tasks, such as the runway friction surveys. This involves using specialist equipment to test the friction levels on the runway. This is really important to ensure good braking action for the aircraft. It's not your normal nine to five job. You've got the power to shut that airport because if you think, if you can't get one of these machines working, then effectively there's no flights. The Hyle are very good in their training, their backup. So I would say go for it if you were ever contemplating a job. <laughs>